When snowmobilers hit the woods this winter, it might seem like something's missing. Don Britton, a long-standing member of the Snowmobiling Advisory Work Group in Michigan's Snowmobile Association, explains the big change. There's a new sign program that we're doing to uh, eliminate a lot of the uh, informational signage. Multiple chevrons are being replaced by two simple signals, 90-degree turn ahead and a directional arrow at the site of the turn. Britton believes the lack of signs will force riders to be more aware of the conditions and take on more responsibility for their safety. The idea is to sign turns, not curves. After studying similar programs in Wisconsin and Ontario, the Michigan Snowmobile Association found a decrease in signage led to a decrease in accidents. Ron Yesney, the recreational management specialist at the DNR, is a proponent of the philosophy and has gradually implemented their methods. The problem with having too many signs is that riders ride from sign to sign rather than paying attention to the trail itself. So by having fewer signs, it puts more onus back on the rider to pay attention to the trail and to slow down and to ride in a safer manner. Sign clutter is being consolidated considerably as snowmobile and off-road vehicle signs will become one and the same. Signs like these will be removed from the trail this upcoming snowmobile season. The DNR plans on recycling and repurposing them for future use. But regardless of how many signs line the trail, the DNR believes the zero tolerance policy remains paramount. The DNR hopes these changes ensure three main qualities for their trails. Family friendly, um, available to everyone, and um, safe. In Chocolate Township, I'm Rick Tarsitano for TV6 News.